Hi guys, this is totally a different kind of video than I normally do on my channel. And that's why it's Fit Farm Girl. Anyway, um, I wanted to share this because I've seen a few videos um, on this, but I wanted to do my own because a lot of them don't have everything in it that I've learned from individual videos, so I'm gonna try and put it all in one. I have a chicken that has renal failure, heart failure or something, she's retaining water. Um, if you see, also anybody who's thinking of getting chicks for Easter coming up, you might wanna reconsider because it's more than just cuteness and eggs. Um, there's a lot of things like the bumblefoot and stuff, there's a million videos on those, so I didn't really feel like I needed to ever cover that. Um, this is a common problem with chickens. They'll start to look a little lethargic and kind of look a little, and they, it takes a while before a chicken looks sick because they're wanting to look strong so they don't get picked on. Um, this one's still looking pretty strong, still feisty, a lot feistier than the last chicken that I've done this with. Um, but I know that she had something wrong with her, so I picked her up and I patted her on her belly and it's super squishy. So if you squish on their belly, then you know there's a problem. Um, it's not hard, so it's not egg bound. It's super squishy, so she's retaining water. Um, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna get the water off her with a syringe. So I'm gonna show you all the stuff that I'm gonna use to do this. It's not fun, but a vet bill for a chicken for this would be through the roof, probably over $300. and most likely they're not gonna make it anyway, but you gotta give them a fighting chance, they're your pets. Um, I am doing this on my own, so the video won't be great. My husband is grossed out to the beyond belief, so he's out on the lawnmower trying to stay as far away as he can. You might even be able to hear in the background so he doesn't have to see it. All right, so I'll show you the stuff that I'm gonna need and then I'll kinda get a video of what I'm doing, but um, it's not gonna be the best video because I'm doing it alone and she still is feisty, which is good. There's a good chance she might make it if I can pull this water off here. So let me show you what I what I use. Okay, most importantly, you need a syringe um, and needles, of course. Um, you want a large syringe. Now, my chicken's holding quite a bit of water, so I might end up using the syringe at first to pull a little bit of water off her, and then I'm just gonna set up a port and squeeze her. Um, but these are the, the 18 gauge are pretty good. You gotta make sure you put it not in a vein, because that can make it even worse. Um, you have to clean her off real good. I use witch hazel because it doesn't burn as much once I um, stick in the needle. Uh, Alcohol is fine, but as soon as you stick in the needle, it burns and they start to squeal. Um, I clean off with cotton balls. Wear gloves. That was the thing. That's the reason I 90% of the reason I did this video is half the people don't wear gloves when they're treating their chickens. I love my birds too, but the infection off my hands can get into them as well. So gloves. Um, towel, you're gonna wanna cover her face with that so she can't see what's going on, especially if she still has a lot of energy or he, if it's a rooster. Um, and then after, when I have the open wound, I just put some triple ointment on it. I do use iodine sometimes too. I normally use that on Bumblefoot because um, the iodine on their skin can really, really burn. This doesn't burn at all. They won't even notice that you put it on there so they don't get an infection. All right, so I'm gonna head out to my girl out in the barn and we're gonna get going. Hi guys, I'm gonna go treat your friend, Freedom. All right. So we're headed out to the barn. You can hear my husband mowing the lawn so he doesn't have to see this. It might be too loud for a video actually. I might give it a try. Hey girls, you don't wanna watch this. You don't wanna watch this. Here's my sick girl. That's freedom. All right, I'm sitting down here in the barn. I'm gonna get my chicken. I'm sorry about this footage. It's probably not the best, but all right, come here, girl. Come here, little girl. <laughs> so if you can tell, she's still very feisty. She's still okay, all right? She's still good. So that's one thing. You wanna try and catch this early. See how distended her belly is? It's really, really squishy, okay? Um, make sure that's what it is before you start doing something weird to your chicken and it's egg bound. Okay, good girl. I put on my gloves and we're gonna do this, okay? So I gotta cover her face. That's what you always wanna do if you're doing anything to birds. Cover their face. Makes it a lot easier. If they can see, it freaks them out. Um, so I'm gonna put some gloves on and get started. All right, so I'm getting some witch hazel preloaded on this. See how she's still really with it though? She's like looking at the camera, she's happy. Um, those are chickens throwing rocks at the side of the barn, by the way. All right, so I know you hate this. I know, girl, I know. This is not gonna be fun for you. This is gonna suck. 
Okay, so what I do is she's got really good feather here, so I need to make sure I find a good spot. So I found a good spot. There's a vein there, so I want to avoid that vein. So I want to get right in here. It's going to be a little cold, girl. You got it. Okay, so these say for veterinary use only on them, all right? But you can buy them at the feed store. Um, this doesn't hurt too bad for them. But the hard part is when they have a lot of feathers, you have to be careful that you don't hit a vein because now I missed it. Okay, where we got here? Right there looks good. So you just go right under the skin. You should not have to go that far. Okay, and then you just pull the syringe. Oops, you in there? We in there? There we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I've noticed she has quite a bit of fluid, so I'm actually gonna take the syringe out. And do you see the water or the, it's kinda got a little bit of blood to it, but not a lot. Um, that means you didn't get a vein. So what you'll do is you'll stick a, a, a Tupperware under her that you don't want anymore. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna squeeze on her, like so. So I'm gonna take her, cause she, she has a lot, a lot, a lot of fluid. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like this and squeeze. Okay, so this is really disgusting and I apologize. This takes a long time, all right? So I'm just going to have to sit here and drain her for a while. There's a little blood, but not too bad. I didn't get a vein. That's in her port. So we're good. This can take a while. Okay. Now you can draw it with a syringe, which hey, 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 which it does pull it out a little bit quicker. But when you have this much, it's a lot of work for you. So here, I'm doing it with a syringe real quick. You see all this fluid I'm getting? Okay, so then see all that fluid? You just wanna keep everything as clean as possible. They're chickens, it's never gonna be 100% clean, okay? So just keep it as clean as you can. Um, but that's part of it, I'm still going. You might wanna not eat right before you do this, um, but I will get back to you after she's done gloves right. yet um, she's sitting in there with a port she's draining really good um, and then I got all that water off her by pulling so what I'm gonna do is you do not want to leave her leave a port in her and put her back in the coop that's a no-no because she can get an infection but as long as she's in here on a clean towel I'm just gonna let her drain for about maybe half hour to an hour come back in take the needle out anyway so that's basically what you do the odds of her Sorry, Freedom, I love you, girl, but the odds of her making it, you should have seen the eyes she just gave me. The odds of her making it are slim. She's a feisty girl, though, so I have, I have, if anybody's going to make it, it's going to be her, her. Oh, now my husband comes back. He realizes, oh, good, she's done. Okay, um, so I'm hoping this one will make it. Um, I hope that video didn't um, gross you out too much, but when it comes to your pets, you'll do whatever it takes to you know, keep them alive. But if you are considering chickens, consider everything. Um, at, from this to bumblefoot to uh, animals ripping them apart in pieces in your yard. All right, I'll let you know how my chicken does. Bye. All right, she's officially done and in recovery and eating, which is definitely a good sign. Um, so I'll check on her again tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I don't have to do it again, um, but most likely I will. Uh, so we'll just see how she feels. I got most of the water off of her though. She's not squishy anymore. All right, gotta wish Freedom some luck. If she's eating, that's a good sign.